Hi everybody. I have been waiting a long time to do this video. Um, about a year and a half ago, I watched an interview with a woman who um, was kind of known for being overweight, you know, partly, and she decided to lose weight and she was getting some, you know, people were being harsh with her for, you know, I guess not being accepting of her weight. But she was explaining that the reason she was she wanted to lose weight was because when her belly hung over, she would get rashes and infections where the skin, where the belly made skin to skin contact with um, the upper pubic area. And so I decided to make a pair of panties that would take care of that. And um, so, you know, girls talk. So I had some girl talk with my friends and I know that a couple of them had issues as well. So I made these underwear and I um, tried them on my fit model. She loved them. I kind of presented them out to a small group of women and I sold some and they love them. So I decided to share it with you because summer's coming and it's going to be hot. And if you live in the South, it's even worse because it's so humid. And so I am going to um, share this with you, show you how to make them. And you can either um, make them yourself or you can purchase them from me. I'm trying to put them in my website, but my website's having problems. So I'll leave my email down below. Email me, I'll send you an invoice. We'll take care of it. Okay, I'm gonna explain the pieces. This is the back of the panty. This is the front. This is the crotch. This is the crotch lining, it's 100% cotton. And this is the special piece that makes all the difference. Now, these panties can go from a large to maybe a two or three X because there's a lot of lycra in it. And it's super soft, super comfortable. When you wash it, you need to wash it in cold water and do not put it in the dryer. Dryer messes up the elastic in it, all the <clears throat> spandex. The cotton you need for breathability. Um, this is just, the crotch is gonna match this. This, I chose to do it out of the same fabric because it's so much stretch. If you make it out of 100% cotton, it's not gonna stretch quite as much. So that's why I do this. But when I insert it into the panty, I'm gonna, this part will be against the skin, not that part. So I'm gonna show you how I get this stuff together. The first thing I do is lay your panty like this. Let me turn this around so hopefully you can see a little bit better. <clears throat> this is the back of the crotch. This is the back of the crotch. So you're going to place it like this. I'm gonna fold this back and I'm going to lay this here and you are going to lay it with the wrong sides together. If it matters to you, it matters to me just because, whoops, there we go. So we're gonna place it like this and we're going to pin it. Okay, now that it's pinned, I like to just prep everything at the same time. So I'm going to pull this up here. I'm going to roll the panty up. I'm going to place the wrong side of the front crotch piece, align it with this. Then I'm going to take the front of the other piece, the right fabric, and I'm going to lay it here, and I'm going to pin it. And now we're going to sew it. Okay, I did a narrow zigzag stitch where you saw the pins, a narrow zigzag stitch here and here, about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Then you're going to turn it inside out, and you have completely in, um, enclosed seams on the inside and the outside too. 
So here on the inside, you can see it looks very clean. Um, and now I'm just going to kind of true up the edges and then um, I'm going to put the panel in. So what the panel is, it's a piece of fabric that I use that is five inches by about 14 inches. And what I'm going to do is fold them right sides together. Let me see if you can see that. So I'm gonna fold them right sides together. And I'm going to serge this edge right here. Okay, now that um, the edges are serged, this is what it looks like. I am going to place this, the serged edge, one inch up from the bottom. So I'm just going to put a little chalk mark here so I can see it. And then here. Now I'm going to let me trim this up. Do the same here. Now this this panel is a bit shorter than the front and there's a reason for that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is stretch this until they're the same length. And then I am going to bring it down like this because I want the center of this panel to dip down. And depending on um, your measurements, you might want this dip down further or you might want it uh, more straight across. And also, depending on your body, you might want this, you know, wider or deeper or uh, shallower. So just depends on your body and how you're shaped. Um, those are all going to be up to you. Now what I'm gonna do is take it to the machine and I'm gonna put a narrow zigzag stitch right here. I'm gonna stretch it to the, till they're the same length like this and put that zigzag in there. And I'll be right back. Okay, okay, this is what it looks like when you get the panel sewn in. And um, now I'm going to sew the side seams together and then put the elastic in. All right, everybody, this is the final product. Um, and I wanted to let you know that if you don't sew panties, but you know how to do some sewing, you can take a store-bought pair that you like and sew this panel in yourself. Very, very easy to do. It can also be done with men's underwear, except you have to keep in mind that women's underwear generally have a side seam, men's do not. So if you put it in a woman's pair, then you could always just anchor it to the side seams like this. Just kind of go over the side seams. If it's a man's, you may have to put something there to do it or find another way because if there's not a seam to anchor to, it's just gonna pull really weird on the sides. But you know what, trial and error, that's how we learn things. And um, just give it a shot. So you can do, I, I make my own underwear because um, there's things about store-bought that I don't like. Now what I do wanna point out about this is that this is a double layer. So when you when this goes under the belly, it's gonna have a double layer so that you're gonna have a little more airflow underneath to keep you dry and cool. 
So um, summer is almost upon us, so happy sewing. And I would love to find out what you guys think. Um, make some up, try them out, let me know what you think. If you don't sew, head on down over to my website. I'll put the link below. And I would love to hear what you think as well. I've already sold some and got some really good feedback, which is why I'm putting it out here. So um, happy sewing and let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you, bye.